<laughs> now we can catch up. Now, can we catch up? Wow, okay. Today is April the 26th, 2016, and it is about 11, 11.33 in the a.m. And now I'm just going to catch you guys up. Hold on, let me grab me some water right quick. Hold on, excuse me. But, uh, because it's going to spill. Because it's under pressure and shit, too. And it's been frozen. And when you open it, it spills a little bit. Oh, it didn't do it. Okay, cool. Anyway. Hi. Y'all. I know y'all like, bitch, where you been? Well, hey, life. You know what I'm saying? Taking care of kids and taking care of different shit. You know, things that I can share, things that I can't share. Um, been still working on me, mind, body, and soul. Um, this is just some hair that I've always had, that hair that I made when I went to go see my friend of 10 years. Same hair. Um, but, you know, Auntie, how much you weighing now? Um, look, I done gained a little bit of weight, so I'm a little bit thicker than what I was. So, I know I gotta get back on course, and we're gonna get back on course starting May 1st. I gotta go through this little shred, you know. Um, right now, I'm, I'm almost 190. Can you believe that? But, you know, I was telling you guys before, well, I was saying it on Facebook that, that I had stepped on some glass. Excuse me. I had stepped on this glass, and oh my God, that glass had me fucked up. And it was still a charge of glass still in my foot. And so, it wasn't that the, that the cut was really wide. It was the fact that it was very deep. So it had to go through layers of healing and plus it had shards of glass still in it. It was just horrible. And so with that, I was down. I was laid up and stuff. And man, and so I was eating. I, I don't think it was so much from, from me eating. I think it was just, I just blew up. You know what I'm saying? I had swole up and shit and it was just, oh my God, it, it was crazy. So I went through that little phase right there, but... Um, uh, glad to say that I'm finally healed. I had I had a couple stitches, and so uh, I got the stitches removed last week, and um, so now I'm able to get around, and I don't feel like I'm under bondage. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I'm all you know tied up and shit. Cause when you got and then it's on on the bottom of your foot too. I was fucked up, y'all. Oh my God, I was fucked up. But I'm able to get around now, and everything is good. So now, but I want to go through this shred to get, you know, my body, you know, a little bit, you know, get my shit together. Um, and, but believe it or not, you know, I, I'm like, where in the fuck did I gain? The, I'm gaining, the, I gained the weight in my ass. Believe it or not. I'm not going to get all the way up and show you guys all everything. But, uh, you know, I've gained it back here. Now, this is just going to roll up. It's just going to be what it's going to be. But it is just is what it is, you know. Let me see. Just is what it is, you know. Now, um, after I did the last video, and and one young lady had hit me up on my Facebook, and so she was like, "Auntie, how you get that thigh gap you got?" Well, it's actually I'ma tell you, y'all. It's gonna roll up, so fuck it. It's gonna roll up. I'm I'm, I'm not finna fuss with it. Why don't you get you a bigger size? No, bitch. It's this ass and these hips I got. Okay, because up in here you already see what it is, but trying to Roll it over all this right here. It ain't going to do it, okay? It's, it's just not going to do it. Auntie, what's your measurements? Well, my measurements are I wear 34 double F cup. My waist is a 27 and my hips are a 45. Like 44 and something. So, fuck it. I say 45. But uh, it's just not going to go over these guys right here. So, what we going to do? What we going to do? So, anyway, but... um. So I'm still working on my mind, body, and soul. Um, you know, uh, energy is everything with me. You know, and I'm big on that today. And so I, you know, I, you know, I'm still on my holistic shit. I, I, that's just the way I'm gonna be. You know, what I'm saying till it's over with that I am going to live a holistic life. That's just, I love it. I love the way I feel. I love the energy. I'm not tired. 
I'm not bogged down. I'm none of that. It's like every day I get up and I, I've just, most days I'm in the best of moods. Um, I just feel good, you know. And so as long as the energy is flowing that way, I'm going that way. That's just what it is. My kids are doing good. Um, everything is good, you know. I'm to a place in my life right now. I don't want to be told what to do. I don't. I, I want to see who I want to see. Is Kenny still there? Kenny is still there. Kenny is. I mean, he. You know, I love Kenny. You know, I love Kenny, and uh, you know, but I. I also want to do what I want to do. Can I say that too? I want to do what the fuck I want to do. I don't. I don't want to be told what I can. I don't pay the cost. You understand what I'm saying? You know the rest. I done paid the cost, so you can't tell me what I can and can't do. We're going to have a problem. You know what I'm saying? I was married over 20 motherfucking years. Over 20. Okay? my I, I was married so motherfucking long, I ended up with a pension. Ain't that a bitch? Yes, I ended up with a pension. Real shit. True story. So, it's like, um, you know, when you get to that point, you don't, you don't, uh, you know, you don't want to be told what you can and can't do. You know, you just not, I'm not trying to ride that ride. I don't want no, uh, I don't want to be married again. I don't want to be wifey. You know, I want to be Tina and I want to have fun and I want to see, go, do. I do want a man in my life to travel and, 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 and take this journey with me. Of course, I want a life partner, you know. Not to say that he's not none of that, but you know, he's, you know what I'm saying? Some shit done happen. Shit, I ain't finna go all up in all that old type of shit, but, uh, nickel, uh, excuse me. You know what I mean? I love you, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? Some shit done took place that I, a bitch like me can't really just digest real proper, like, so, um, nigga, uh, it's whatever. You know what I mean? It's, you know, whatever. So, but anyway, yeah, so that's what's up with that. And, uh, so I do what I want to do. You know, and I love that. You know, I don't have no curfew. Other, especially if my son is off from work, I ain't got no motherfucking curfew. Excuse me. He 19 and can hold this whole motherfucker down and able to pay everything I owe. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore, shit, hey, uh, mama be back in the morning. Especially on, on, like, his off days. He's usually off on the weekends or whatever. If I want to go out and do that, I'm able to do that. I haven't done it yet. But I'm able to do that, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> if I want to. So, and I just like that. Um, y'all remember Fathead? I used to call him Fathead all the time, y'all. He been on my bumper. When I put those pictures up on Facebook and stuff, and man, I was getting phone calls from all over the motherfucking place. Motherfuckers was reaching out to me like you would not believe. Now, last week, I had posted these pictures. I had worked out, and then me and one of my friends, we were going to lunch that day. And I had on... Um, my little workout shorts, these little biker shorts, so, I mean, some short, short ones, some short, short ones, and this little, um, uh, black tank top, uh, a black, uh, workout top, and I had worked out, and, 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 um, and I had took some pictures and stuff, and thank y'all, you know, y'all was like, damn, what's up with that gap, though, how you get that, how your legs don't touch together, and this, 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 well, um, to the young lady that sent me the message on Facebook and you were like, well, how do I work out and how do I get that? And, you know, did I have to get lipo on that or whatever? No, it's just the fact that, you know, as I lost weight, that's just what it is. And then, too, it's the way my pelvis fits, you know. And pelvis, I think there's four different types of pelvis, okay. And it's the way whatever type of pelvis that you have, some have a more broader, more wider pelvis, and that's, me my pelvis is wide and if you have more of a narrow pelvis a lot of those women are the ones that tend to have you know c-sections and things of that nature because their body just doesn't open up wide enough for the baby to come through whereas with me they got to have no problem and on that last one that motherfucker was coming out they was like wait a minute excuse me you here only for an appointment right i'm like yeah i just came you know for my weekly appointment well uh he's crowning right now Feel right here, and I was like, damn. Went up in there, nigga, I'm feeling it.